Well, hello, everyone. Sunshine Locksmith Eddie coming to you live right here, right now, as things are taking place. And uh, what we have here is a uh, extra space storage lock. Uh, this is a uh, combination style lock. These are made by Dagos, Dell Swins, and Singo, stuff like that. And uh, extra space storage and all the other different places. They buy these locks. They stick their name on They can have their name stamped on them and stuff like that. And uh, what we did here was we lost the combination to it. All right. And what we did, we needed to find a combination to this lock. Uh, it has a little dial on the back of here this is where you would change the combination to a new number all right after you get it opened and stuff like that so uh, what i did they didn't have a combination so what i went ahead and uh, found the combination to it it was actually 8800 and uh, what we're going to do is show you exactly how i got to that point so uh, what you do with this is um you're going to need two things you're going to need it's always easier to use a, a pick all right you use your finger you're covering up uh, what you need to see and you're going to need a light you're going to need a lot of light all right uh, the light that I have here is actually a light that's uh, I use on my desk and uh, by using this this one actually has a uh, I think it's a 2.5 magnifier or if you don't have that you can use a loop or if you really uh, have good eyesight you could just use it without it uh, you can use a shim but uh, that, that's for some of the other locks. But you didn't even, I didn't even need to use a shim. All I needed was the light and a pick. And what you do with this, uh, as a matter of fact, it's a little hard for me to do it. I'm going to try to show you. But you're not going to be able to see it because you're not going to be close enough down in here. By looking down in here uh, on, as a matter of fact, we'll just do it like here. If you look down in here. There's a shaft that rides through all of the wheels, all right? On all, there's nine wheels, so there's going to be uh, uh, almost 10,000, 9,999 uh, combinations to it, uh, just under 10,000. So uh, what you want to do is go each wheel, they're all rounded. They're all rounded until you see a flat spot, all right? There's only one that has a flat spot. And what you do is you go from one, you can turn this around uh, by doing it like this, each and every one, and you look down in the side here, right between. There's enough room to look in there, all right? And you turn the wheels, all right? You're not going to get it by turning this or moving this or turning that. It ain't going to work. You actually have to line it up, each wheel. And right when you get to the proper wheel, you'll see a flat spot right here. So by looking at that flat spot, you'll know. You go to the next one. It'll be round, 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 all the way around. See, by using your finger, you'd block it. So by using a pick or a sharp instrument, you can turn this around. Round, round, eight, eight, okay? There was a flat spot on there. Then we go to this. Round, round, round 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 flat spot right there flat spot there and then you go round round you're looking down through here now all right right between where i'm pointing take this around you have to look close now until you get it to the flat spot there's a flat spot now all are flat all right and by that you can then open the lock all right once it's open like that you can go ahead and turn the side back here turn it over to here all the way you see where it is this is where you're going to change the combination all right so what we're going to do is we're going to make it uh let's try making it seven seven take it uh, right there so now we turn the thing back to there back to the lock position and there you have it you got a combination now that works you can turn around chain turn what well, it has to be unlocked 
and then you turn your back over and you can change it to whatever number you want so there you have it if you have any of these Santa locks uh, that, that take the combination uh, whether you're talking about suitcase locks uh, the old uh, briefcases that take the three digit numbers stuff like that uh, that's how you would open those locks so there you have it have a great day